Hi guys, welcome from the Coco Stairs. This is a place where you don't see me often. Uh, but today I'm out and uh, I'm gonna do kind of a little Coco Crater experience and climb the stairs, the new stairs. I heard from my friends, the volunteer friends, that they have a new section. Ben is here again. So we're gonna do around the crater. Hopefully today is like a very calm day and we can get some cool drone shots, which last time when I recorded a video about the coco rim, I didn't have a chance to. I'm already breathing hard, which is a good sign. That means I'm going uphill and we're getting close to the steep section. That was kind of the only fun part of the whole stairs, walking over the bridge. Well, for a lot of people it's the scary part. I guess for me it's the most fun. Almost on the top. Okay, we are super close to the top and reaching the peak of well maybe i'm thinking to ask random people if they know the name of the actual high point in coco crater hmm. i'm wondering if you know what's the name of this uh high point of coco crater the high point yeah i don't know actually i'm just visiting so i don't know okay i, didn't I don't know <laughs> nobody knew the answer yet so the question is what's the highest point name on coco crater which is right here at this place oh the name the hawaiian name oh. We do not know that. Start with the K. We all do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know. No way. No way. You have to know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah. I do not know actually. Ah, <laughs> I'm so no. sorry. Someone told me too. And I know that the English translation is a vagina. <laughs> yeah, it's the flying vagina. Very good. I don't know if I can put that in the video, but I like it. <laughs> Coconut Coalition working to finish up these uh, stairs, which is pretty cool, and that's gonna lead to the to that metal. I don't know how you call it, but it's a nice stand. Now for the full experience, we're gonna do the whole Coco Crater Rim, and uh, we're gonna head down the east rim, which is the easier side. It's still it has a lot of exposure. It is a lot of dry lava rocks, which is great. Ben is coming down, he's enjoying life, good scramble, woo yeah. Right on man. Woo. How close were you to dying? Woo. I still don't believe how I tripped uh, coming down the east stream. You know, everyone makes mistakes, that's okay, we are all humans. Thankfully it was nothing crazy, a little bit of bloody knees, but uh, yeah, nothing else. Uh, the cool thing, when you have a little injury, always have to have with you your first aid kit. Yeah, for all of you hikers and trail runners out there who are not carrying a first aid kit, this is a good sign. Maybe you should. My goodness, this year is super dry. We have a really, really dry year. 2023 
It's just one of those years where not a lot of rain was falling in Hawaii, which is pretty rare because look at that, it's end of October, almost November, and it's like feeling like I'm walking in the desert. It's crazy. Usually at this time, cocoa uh, crater already green or diamond head, but now it's just super dry and brown. So I have a feeling we're gonna have a very wet winter. We are approaching now to the, the west rim and this is gonna be a little more exciting, but today is no wind which is a big thing here at Coco. It's usually like blowing wind really hard on the rim. Today, we are sweating balls, but good for the drones, I guess, to fly. up the west rim of the Coco Crater. It's a really fun scramble. It's a lot of narrow ridge walk right on dry lava rocks and a lot of drop-offs each side. It's definitely using your climbing skills here and there, but it's doable without any climbing actually. Oh wait, what is he doing? Oh, is he jumping? Oh man, cool. Dude, look at this finger. Like, I'm really not showing you. <laughs> and this is how it looks like. I kinda hit it really bad. I guess no climbing for a while. All right, I think we got the whole Coco Crater experience. We learned that this is a good steep trail. Nobody knows the actual high point name. So that's pretty sad. Hopefully I can find someone else on the way down. We did all the way around the crater, which is pretty amazing. It's a fun scramble. At the same time, it's kind of dangerous. So just attempt it if you think you can do it. Big dilemma we have here in Coco Crater. I asked a bunch of people around and nobody knew what's the name of the actual high point of Coco Crater. So can you tell me? Lepe. All right, so there is one person who knows it. Cool, thank you. 